Okay, perfect. Andy, my name is Gonzalo from Radio Colombia. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so Hi. much for these minutes. Pleasure. I, no, me too. Andy, for me, this question is, is difficult because evil we can see in uh, different ways. How do you define the evil? Oh my gosh, how long have you got? Um, <laughs> it's a it's a huge question, obviously, and and people have been writing about it for centuries. But uh, I, I I don't personally believe in the concept of evil, so I think that's that's and uh, you know that's my start point. I I think. You know, many religions have find that an important thing to do to actually say this is good and this is bad. This is evil and this is, you know, you know, right. Um, I, I don't think we live in a I don't think as a species we operate in that way at all. We can see good and bad things in in many species, you know, that that there are qualities and there are things which are despicable about about you know everyone and everything that exists um so so it, and it's about i suppose creating when you're working on a character like david roby in this in this story it's it's creating this particular moral framework and and seeing the world from that moral framework's point of view but also in this case david roby could not be who he is as a as a you know as I mean, he is a psychopath and he is a murderer, so, you know, serial killer. Of course, those are all, you know, so so not to be judged too lightly. Yes. Um, but the, the one of the great villain villains in the piece is the Internet and his ability to connect with that. And in a way, hold a mirror up to society to say, look what we have become. Look at how much we power we have given over to a computer that controls our lives increasingly and will continue to do so and even more so in the in the next however many years you know so yeah. so so what neil cross has written in this case is is a character that is that is uh, aware of uh, uh, if if there is such a thing as any evil it's something that we have collectively it's a collective consciousness but talking about that andy there are there is a moral debate in the film about what is bad according to the person who does it. Have you that's debate internally this moral debate? Yes, of course. I mean, that's that is that how do you justify, you know, how do we justify watching horror on the news at night and see wars and families being, you know, violated and and destroyed and then turn away and then make our pasta and dinner and and a glass of wine you know the, the, you know how how do we how do you, how do we live with ourselves in many respects um and then when you when you start to think about the internet and and what that is doing to us and to how we are desensitized you know when we drive past a, a, a crash on the on the freeway and you know we 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 want to look and we want to see what's happened what is that in our psyches that makes us want to do that so i think i think uh, it's very healthy to question one's darker side you know and the fact that we you know and to ask ourselves who we are when 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 nobody's watching that's that's when you know that's that's the point i think well wow. Andy, the last question is about your character, your performance. Do you think that a billion should convey hate or disgust? Oh, well, these are good questions. Um, I, I I think if you start to, well, I would say that that if you hate a character, I mean, it's. I think it's good if a character, uh, you know, in a safe environment like a movie, where you know, which is why the transformative power of storytelling through cinema and and uh, you know is so necessary in the world. That, uh, well, for, and has always been part of the human condition. Storytelling yeah. to to allow us to feel and think things and see things without actually experiencing them, the horror of them. You know, I I think I think it's really really important that that we um. That we that we are made to think, that we are made to question and continually continually question um, all of these moral debates. That there is no answer that stays still. That that the question keeps going on. Do you think that the, the public and the the public the the, the 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 yes ours seeks to see 
themselves more represented by the hero or the billion? Ooh. Um, I think everyone would like to think that they're the hero, but I think the brave amongst us look at the dark side of ourselves and know that that's, you know, it, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that I, we, we have to be honest with ourselves and look at uh, and look at our dark, the dark side of ourselves. And that's why that's why, you know, re religion is a difficult thing because religion you know, draws a line and there is no line to be drawn in my I in my view. Andy, thank you so much for this answer. Congratulations for the movie. I love talk with you. I'm excited right now to talk with you. And now, thank you so much for, the, for your uh, answering me this question well, and for talking with the people in Colombia. Thank you so much. And thank you for your great questions. Really, yeah. really interesting.